Hi! I hope you are good. Today's story on Miss Bill Storytime as part of Hashtag We Read on Wednesdays is called Big City Kitty. Now I had this book given to me um, by somebody who wanted me to read it for them. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Kitty the cat was all alone in the city. It was a big and noisy and she was small and quiet. Kitty hadn't always been alone. Once she had lived happily with a family. But then came the day of the enormous fight. Kitty became so scared that she ran and ran and ran far away into the big city. So here she was, alone, quiet, afraid and lost. In the daytime, Kitty crept around in the dark shadows so no one would see her. But the shadows were scary. At night time, she curled up to sleep in secret corners. But the night noises were scary. All day and all night, the screeching cars, the rumbling lorries, the beeping scooters and the thundering buses were scary. When Kitty was hungry, she hunted for scraps by the cafe bins. But the grumbling waiter was scary too. She tried to make friends with the other stray cats, but even they were scary. One night, when the moon shone brightly, Kitty tiptoed to the park. She climbed a tall tree and looked at the city below. She heard an owl hoot and tried her best not to be scared. She heard a car horn honk and tried not to jump. She heard people cheer and tried more than ever not to tremble. She heard a train toot and tried to be brave, but it wasn't easy. And then in the night air, Kitty heard a sound she knew. A strange sound, a wailing sound, an up and down sound, a familiar sound. Kitty pricked up her ears. She jumped down from the tree and she ran. She ran along the busy nighttime street, past the noisy people, past the grumpy waiter. Oh, we always get stuck together. There we go. <laughs> past the gang of stray cats, over the railway line, across the canal bridge, and across roads and roads and more roads. As it started to get light, Kitty heard the sound again. She smelt familiar smells too. She knew this place. With a little flutter in her tummy, Kitty followed her ears and her nose to a shiny red front door. Then she gave a loud, brave meow. The door opened and Kitty walked in. And what did she see? The noise that had once seemed more scary than anything was music to her fluffy ears. Home at last, she sighed, as she curled up on her favourite cushion and purred and purred and purred. The end. I really enjoyed that story. I hope you did too. Give us a like, give us a share, give us a comment if you've got any suggestions. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. And remember, with it being Wednesday, we've got hashtag we read on Wednesday. I've had quite a lot of people message me as well um, about stories. So please, please get your requests in if you want them. Um, I'm happy to purchase whatever I need to purchase to keep you guys happy. So I will see you all on Sunday. See you later. Bye, everyone.